Okay, so we're in the garage and we're getting ready to decorate for Christmas. Our tree is already up. And I just want you to know, everything that has a C on it is Christmas decoration. So we have three, one, two, three, four, seven, seven, so 21, 21 bins. Every year I do try to get rid of some stuff, but I end up buying more stuff. So I, this is actually stressing me out. Um, the fact that I have so much stuff and I've been, believe it or not, I've been having sleepless nights trying to declutter my life, but I just love stuff. I Not that I have to be a minimalist, but this is just too much. So within the next week or so, I'll be going through these bins and whatever I don't love is gonna go for sale or on my eBay or Facebook <clears throat> or to charity. And I think there might be, there's Easter here, Valentine's and other stuff here. I don't believe there's Christmas. No, I don't see Christmas. So basically I have 21 bins and I actually have, no, I think this is it. I thought maybe I had, uh, for the pink room that I just decorated in my last video, I thought that I had the bins inside the house, but you know what? They might be. So yeah, so I have 21 and four in the house, so 25. I have 25 bins. That's crazy. If you have more than me, comment below. I wanna see if I'm the only one or if somebody is just as crazy for Christmas as I am. But yeah, I need to bring this down a little bit. And I know some of it, uh, every year I don't take it out depending on how I feel like I wanna decorate. And my daughter does say I have too much decorations out. So it looks like a Christmas, like Christmas blew up in her house. So I don't know, gotta go through it. There's things that I cannot part from like my collection of nutcrackers from Germany that will stay with me forever. So we'll see how this journey or where this journey will take me. So tune in. Okay, so my husband brought them in here, the bins. Um, so here's all that is for decoration. And these boxes I brought next to the tree that are for the tree, for uh, their ornaments. So I'm gonna be going through them and see what I love and what I don't love. Hopefully there's enough, like a bulk of it. <laughs> I don't remember what I have to donate or sell depending on what it is. So here we go. And here is one of the tree skirts that I have. I have, I have two because I couldn't make up my mind and it was um, on sale at Michael's a long time ago. This is like the first year they had these. So they had this one and then like a metal one. So I bought both because it was dirt cheap at the time. I'm just putting it on this basket for now. <laughs> so not to confuse you over what it looked like. Um, so I keep both and then every year I decide on which feeling I have. I, this year I decided on the wicker. Last year I did the metal. I think the year before that I did metal. And I, I also have some skirts. I think I have one skirt for this tree that is a burlap. And I do plan on keeping it in case this style um, just becomes old and I can go back to the burlap. and. And for my pink tree in that video that you saw, I have a fur one, I have other uh, skirts, uh, I have a shabby chic skirt, 
I have another one that I found at Michael's that um, kind of, look at Renis looking at me like I'm crazy. Like, woman, you got too much stuff. <laughs> He's crazy. And then we got Mindy over here. Hi, Mindy. And then we got our fat girl over here. Sorry, I haven't made everybody dizzy. Fiona. Fiona. Okay, she's giving me attitude. Fiona. Hi, girl. She is the guard, the the, the guard dog of the house. Cause she will bark. She doesn't bark a lot. But when somebody's at the door, oh boy, it's a scary, scary um, looking dog at the front door. Okay, so we're gonna go through the bins and see what we have. Let me open this first one. My husband hates that I do that because he says I'm gonna break it. But yeah, I mean, I see stuff like this that I still like. This is something my daughter made when she was little. I love that. And some large bells. Some glass ones from Poland that I, at one point I was decorating the tree mostly in this, but I still keep it because it's very well done um, ornaments. But yeah, lots of stuff. I just have to decide whether or not I like some stuff. I do like the look. This is from Cracker Barrel. You know, like the wood, woodsy look. But then I mix it up with some red. These are from Pottery Barn. One year they had huge balls. Look at it. I mean, it's huge and heavy. But I love those. And I, you know... Here's another one. Here's another shape from Pottery Barn. They're huge mercury glass. Look at the shape of this one. So those I really love, so I keep those. Um, I mean, there's a lot of stuff to go through. So I think I'm going to put the phone somewhere where I can prop it up. And here's another one. I love Christmas voids. And yes, I should be selling these, but I love them so much. Um, and they have, they're with tags. I just love them. Look how pretty they are. I just can't get myself to get rid of them. They're vintage. They're from the 90s. And actually my mom just found them for me um, last year. She found them at a red, white, and blue, uh, a bunch of them. They came in a bag, so I told her to send them to me. And um, yeah, because she lives in Miami, which is like three hours away from me. But I told her I had to have it. And my dog, Mindy, loves stuffed animals. So look, Mindy. So she kind of goes crazy when I show her a stuffed animal. <laughs> okay, so let me go through these. Alexa. Turn on Christmas tree lights. The magic of a smart tree. Okay, so yesterday I was going to decorate the tree and I couldn't find the garland that I made. It's like a, a burlap garland with bells on it and whatever. I looked for an hour and a half and I tired myself out and I gave up for the night and now it's the next day so I still didn't find it so what I'm gonna do is just decorate the tree and if I come across it I will somehow put it around it that's happened to me before where I forgot about the garland and decorated the, the tree and then found the garland later and I was like ooh, you know and then added it afterwards it's not easy but it's doable Mindy and of course Mindy barks when I start the video so we're gonna, um, well, I'm gonna start decorating now.
so the tree is done and now the hubby is, is gonna put the star. It's right there. Oh. Please. You know this thing's kinda weak. You just have to find uh the top, it's bent down. The top. Yeah. It's not a perfect star, but it's my star. <laughs> oh! It's, it's because perfect. it's like a... Maybe if you... I gotta put like two of them in there. I know, it's not a perfect science. It's because it has that, that coil. Okay, thank you! Does that look good enough? Ah, uh, that's good enough for now. Right. Until it falls off. I'm just kidding. Because it's kind of, kind of, that tree's kind of weak. No. You know, I saw one of those fancy trees for sale on Facebook. Okay, we'll talk about that later. Anyway. <laughs> so this is the tree. Um, just the traditional red. And I found this Santa Claus. He's always been the, the centerpiece of the uh, tree since I found it at a yard sale. I think I only paid a dollar or two, but he's like, like a paper mache or something. And he's really like old looking, but he, I don't think he's that old. And then I just collected through the years. I have gotten rid of some stuff. Like here is a box of stuff I'm getting rid of. Some spode. Um, I used to have my whole tree decorated in spode which is the dishes that I collect for, um, that I have for Christmas. But I'm done with that. I actually, half of it I sold a couple years ago and this is the other half actually. There isn't, there's just a little, little favorites that I had. And just some uh, Santa Poland made uh, glass ornaments that I'm not that crazy about. And some other ornaments. And then, so then, of course, I have, I keep this because we have our Mindy. She's a Yor uh, Yorkie Maltese mix, but this is a Yorkie. So if you can see the resemblance. Mindy, kind of, maybe. Hi, baby, Merry Christmas. And um, yes, and I have, a, I collect German cracker, or nutcrackers. So this, these are the ornaments. And, and just all these big ornaments came from um, Pottery Barn. So they're scattered throughout the tree. And I got that star. It's more like a Italian looking Santo star. Um, I got it from Ballard Designs. I think they still have it available. I think it was too much money. I bought it on sale too, and I thought it was too much money for the quality. It's not heavy, it's rather thin, which is good in a way, so because of the way that you attach it to the tree, it's like a coil that goes around the, the tree, and it's not very secure, but it always like maybe in a few days it'll like sag down and we have to fix it. But I still love it. But it's like a thin metal and there's glass in the middle, um, like a mirror. And then what else? Oh, this is my favorite because when my husband and I got married, our first Christmas, or no, I don't know if this was, yeah, this was the year after because then we had we had Cassidy. Um, my cousin gave us this and I cherish this like crazy because we had our own little family. After a year of getting married, we already, I already, I came into the marriage with Mia and Carissa and we had Cassidy. So that's me giving him loving eyes and him just being oblivious to it. Right, baby? Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, and just I, I added some farmhouse looking decor. Some of it I found at Target or Hobby Lobby or um, Michael's or, you know. And then like this is from Target because we have a trailer 
or a camper and so that's that and then I added some felt sandals throughout and some ornaments that I found when we went on a getaway trip for our anniversary we went to what was that hotel called Galen Gaylord, Gaylord Palms. Palms to see uh, the ice show and they had ornaments for sale before you went in and I had to have them they're really cute and then this is from Hobby Lobby, I think last year or the year before. So it's very farmhouse. And then, you know, I saw these Starbucks ornaments and I like them. So I have another one somewhere else. And just some Pottery Barn ornaments. I got this from Cracker Barrel. A few, I have a few of them throughout. And this is Target, just to do the farmhouse cabin, kind of woodsy. And this one, we might have to retire him soon because I love nutcrackers, but look at his face has been, the paint came off this year. Here's more, the, another, it's like a ceramic um, Starbucks bag. And then we got initials for all of us, like this one is mine. And we have um, Carissa or Cassidy. And then we have M for Matt. There goes Barks a lot. These are from Magnolia uh, at Target, little mailboxes. I got it in green and red because green came out the first year and then the red came out last year. So I have those. Some new Target ones that I found last year. They're like made out of wood. They're really cute. And then let's not forget the the reason for the season that's baby jesus and mother mary and joseph and the three wise men and everybody else and then these fun the kids used to love this when they were little because it's like a game it's an ornament and they would play with it before we actually hang it on the tree so you gotta try to put the balls in the little yeah so so they had fun with that. And then just these cute little, this is from Cracker Barrel. It looks like a card. And what else? See, those look like cards. Those were, were from Marshalls or TJ Maxx. And these cute little Santas. Oh, I found this at Hobby Lobby the year, last year, the year before. I thought it was fun, very farmhouse. See, the, the star is already hanging down. <laughs> and I found this at a Cracker Barrel nice Coca-Cola Santa very classic and this one as well and this also from Target last year they had a bunch of these like wooden ornaments with the scene it just reminds me of me and my brother uh, trimming the tree when we were little we would trim it by ourselves and then of course I have these ornaments. Uh, these are glass. I have uh, London, I have one from Italy somewhere and one from England. And then there's the Starbucks, the other coffee cup. And then this ornament is pretty cool. It's from Target that I think I got it last year, but it, it's a music box. So it looks like a book. It doesn't open, but it's a music box. That I really love. There's the red mailbox. And these ones I got at Cracker Barrel. It's a very farmhouse. Found this at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, one of them. Here's another one of those. I have three of these and they have different Word, wording like joy, Mary, and I forgot what the other one is. Oh, well, here's the joy, and the other one I don't know where it is. And what else? And then bells throughout, little gold, and you know, some bell, different bell, like cowbell. And this is a little gingerbread house. I think. 
that's it and we'll have to fix that soon before it ends up falling on Fiona. Hey Fiona. She's like upset because we're we were putting all this in her way and she's been trying to get in and out of the bed. But I left her a little space right here. So this is the mess that I have to deal with now. Just everything has to be put back. I'm, um, I'm working on putting all the false stuff away. So I already put here, some of it that was here away and slowly bringing in Christmas. And I got like this entryway to do, and maybe that'll be my next video. I will remove this um, fall stuff and decorate it for um, Christmas. I wanna keep my little man, my little harvest moon with that. Maybe if I put a Christmas hat on him, he'll be okay. My husband already hung this. This is, we got this from um, Magnolia, Magnolia store when she first opened a long time ago. And I love this. And when not in use, we take this out, but we keep it hanging. We've been wanting to get like a sign to, like a welcome sign to keep it the rest of the year. Cause we, we can't take that on and off, you know, the bracket. So that's it for now. That's the decorating that today was the tree, tomorrow will be something else. See y'all next time.